disappointing for the team. It's disappointing for the fans as well that they don't get to see, I think, two quality cricket sides going going hard at it. And, um, yeah, just, just disappointed, I guess, for that. I mean, the series result will be what it will be, but for us it's about just, I guess, trying to get on the park and play the cricket. Oh, probably reasonably even. I mean, we obviously want to try and take wickets if we can early and put India under a bit more pressure. I think it got pretty tough out there to grip the ball once it started drizzling and that from, from both ends. And with a newish ball, just makes it hard to grip. So it was hard to get our spinners in the game as well. But I think encouraging signs. Lockie Ferguson bowled some really good pace again. Uh, I think Matt, Matt Henry looks, looks good at the crease as well. So, yeah, I think there's still some positive things we can take from it. A little bit of both. Uh, traditionally, Hamilton will spin a wee bit more than the Eden Park, and, and we looked at the wicket and just thought just a, it was a touch soft, so perhaps it would grip and spin a wee bit, but I think the rain and drizzle put pay to that and probably just sped the wicket up a little bit as well. So it was, it, yeah, from, from our perspective there, it's pretty hard to, to gauge too much on that. But, I mean, Michael has been part of our squad for a long time. We think he's a fantastic player. We like the... The look of the skills that he's got, I guess just sometimes it's hard fitting 13 into 11. Uh, no, well it's pretty difficult really, I mean uh, we've got half I guess of one innings that, that could be played, uh, what were we, 12 or 13 overs at the end of it, so and the game changed enormously as well from the way you start, it, it's a 50 over contest down to a 29 over contest, it sort of looks very different different and I, I, I think India probably changed their order with Surya Kumar coming up the order which wouldn't have happened normally or well, didn't appear to in the last game so things things change quickly and uh, I guess yeah it's just disappointing we couldn't get a full game in. Oh. Okay, um, you are now the number one ranked ODI team in the world so congratulations for that. Um, not so long back you were also the world test champions. Um, there's clearly something right that's going on in, in the dressing room and on the field. Uh, what do you put that down to? Uh, well, it's nice to hear that. I mean, the, the rankings for me are a little bit irrelevant, really. I mean, once the game starts, it doesn't really matter what your ranking is. It's two teams playing against each other. Uh, I think we've had a number of uh, consistencies in our team for a while now. Um, we try and be very consistent with our selections and, and the way we go about um, selecting the sides. I think we've had a number of um, players that you will look at back in the history and say there, there's, there's a number of players here that, are, that will be New Zealand greats as well, I think. Um, and you, you put that sort of stuff together and, and look at, at how we, how we, the style we try and play and, and try and play for each other out there as well. And I think the guys have done that really well over the last six to eight years. Uh, yeah, very difficult in New Zealand because we haven't got any grounds to, to be able to do that. So uh, I guess if there are grounds available, then, then it has to be considered. Um, I think as a spectacle, though, we still consider cricket to be played as an, an outside game and, and played in the sun as much as we can. So uh, I think you still want to be able to make that happen wherever possible. Uh, I think the, the key thing is you, you are honest with the player and you, you can I just ho hold your integrity and can be honest with them around where you see them being at at any given time and 
I know there's been a lot of, lot of chat around a number of players around the world in their T20 game, but in my opinion, uh, many of the wickets we play on, it isn't just about a game of crash bash the whole time. There's still, and I think the, the World Cup in Australia actually showed that on a number of occasions, the batsmanship side of it still comes into it. And I think when in our T20 side, we have a couple of players with Devon and, and Kane, you would probably put in that more batsmanship crafting an innings type style as opposed to just going in there and crash bash from ball one. There's still a place for those players in my opinion. But the same kind of criticism was given against both in India and New Zealand, the way they played in the semi-final. They were a little too conservative just because it has worked for them in the initial part of the Australian conditions when rain was playing a its part of pitches and suddenly you come across a flat cricket and you don't know. How coaches or players deal with that kind of situation? What is the ideal template? Because everyone is advocating this is the England template. You know, that is that is how the T20 or even ODI should be played. Uh, look, I think you have to look at the resources within your group and then you work out what the game plan is around that. And some teams are going down that, that method of, I, I guess, of just considering boundary hitters the whole time. But I, I think we showed in a, in a couple of games there that there's a different way of playing it as well. And, and I guess the team we selected out there is still what we considered to be the best 15 or the best 11, the best 15 that we had. Um, and, and I think for us, that, that's still the way that we were, we were playing the game. That may change again. We have to keep addressing that. And, and you're right, we have to keep reviewing um, our style of play and making sure that we keep up with the play and, and we keep up with the trends of the game. But it's more than just batting in, in T20 cricket. It's also your bowlers. And I thought in that semi-final, I thought Pakistan bowled exceedingly well uh, at us. And... Um, we still had a score that potentially was defendable. Uh, we just we didn't start our best with the ball that game either. My final question, uh, what about Suri Kumar Yadav? He makes us, as even the likes of England as well, or some of the commentators are saying that he makes it ridiculously easy. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he makes it look terribly easy at times, and, and, and he's hard to, I think, bowl to because he can access both sides of the ground uh, he, he starts from ball one and puts you under enormous pressure right from the very start. And he's also very innovative as well. He plays shots that are a little bit different and um, can keep, I guess he can, he can look at the field and, and have two or three options up his sleeve. So it makes him very, very hard to defend against. And uh, look, he, he's, a, he's a huge force in, in world cricket at the moment, and he's probably one of the most sought after after wickets, I would imagine, all around the world. All right, guys. Thanks very much. Thanks, Gary. Cheers.